Hello and welcome to this lesson on sentiment analysis using Hugging Face and Python. In this lesson, you learn to perform sentiment analysis using the Transformers library from Hugging Face in just three lines of code. In simple words, sentiment analysis is the process of determining whether a piece of writing is positive, negative or neutral. And this kind of analysis is very helpful when trying to extract insights from product or service reviews customer feedbacks, and much more. Let us start this lesson off by installing the Transformers library from Hugging Face in order to perform sentiment analysis. You can do so by writing the command pip install transformers in your command line or terminal based on your machine or in your Jupyter notebook, you can use the exclamation sign followed by the command. So I won't run this for now because I've already installed the Transformers library, but you can run it on your end and it will install the library. So once you're done with that, you can start using the library. So here I'm importing the pipeline function from the transformers library by writing from transformers import pipeline and the pipeline function or method is responsible for pre-processing, modal inferencing and post-processing. That is it first converts any given raw text input to numerical input for a given pre-trained model then it performs modal prediction that is whether the text provided is positive negative or neutral then finally during post processing it converts the prediction to a proper output that we can see on the screen so let me run this line of code and import the function now using this pipeline function we're able to perform all of these three steps using just a single function call and that is what i'm doing over here so i'm calling the pipeline function and i'm passing in two parameters or arguments the first argument is the task that we want to perform, which is in this case sentiment analysis. And for this task, I'm choosing a specific model using the modal argument and the modal name is Distilbert Base on Case Fine Tuned SST2 English. So this sounds like a very coded name, but still the high level overview is we're using the Distilbert model, which is a Transformers model, which is smaller and faster than BERT. And this model was pre-trained on the same corpus in a self-supervised fashion as BERT. And this model also uses the BERT base model as a teacher. So if you're not familiar with BERT in itself, I'll put a link in the video description so you can learn more about it, including Distil BERT as well. So since Distil BERT is trained using BERT based model as a teacher, it was pre-trained on raw text only with no humans labeling them in any way which is why it can use lots of publicly available data. So if I run this line where we're calling the pipeline function, then a text classification pipeline will be made from the transformers library. And we're assigning that pipeline to the variable pipe over here. So I'll run this. And one thing to note is that if you're running this line for the first time, it will take some time to download this pre-trained model, which is digital BERT. So wait a while and once the download completes, you can start using the variable pipe, which is our text classification pipeline for sentiment analysis. Now we've ran two lines of code till now. One is the import. Second, we have the pipeline function call over here to generate our text classification pipeline. Now the last and final part is analyzing sentiment of actual sentences. So for that, I'm just calling the pipeline over here, which is the pipe variable. And in a set of parentheses, I'm just passing in the sentence that I want to analyze the sentiment of. So here I'm writing, I like this hat. So this may be a product review. And if I run this line, you can see that we get a label positive and the score is 0.99. That means this distal bird model is 99% sure that this is a positive sentiment. Now, if I change this to, let's say I hate this hat, this gives us a negative sentiment, which means this model is actually working and we've successfully performed sentiment analysis. Let's try some more examples. So let's use other words like I loathe this hat, which is again a negative sentiment. Uh, another may be I may like this hat, which is still a positive sentiment again. Uh, I may dislike this hat. This is again negative. So here you can see we've actually used a pre-trained model for performing sentiment analysis in just three lines of code. Hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If you want to build more projects like this using three lines of code with a pre-trained model, 
I suggest you stick around to the channel because we've already uploaded a lot of videos around this niche plus we'll be adding more videos in the future. So that is it for this lesson. I'll see you on the next.